Last year was first uh, first uh, year for you as a pro. You probably know what is welcome to the league moment, yeah? Uh, so let's change it a little bit. What was your welcome to European basketball moment? D do you have one? Uh, my welcome to European basketball moment was uh, when we played against Olympiacos. Um, Olympiacos is one of the best Euro League teams um, in Europe. Uh, so like definitely playing against them, um, it was a great experience but very a humbling moment um, just seeing how, how, how good they were talented um, individually and as a team they were a very very talented team they were uh, perhaps they were very physical on um, you because uh, that's you know your your league level physicality for sure um very physical um and i think that was just with you know with the greek league in general too the greek greek league was very very physical um but again your league with olympiacos they were physical as well for sure uh, you had to skip one year of uh, universe, uh, I mean, college basketball because of the redshirt rule. That, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Um, that's an interesting thing. Uh, um, the the redshirt rule made these decisions to switch between the universities uh, very hard. How much is it a uh, let's say bet on yourself moment to decide to skip one year of competitive basketball uh, to switch schools? Um, definitely it was hard, uh, you know, to, to have to sit out for that one year um, when I was transferring into UConn. Um, but I, like you said, I mean, betting on yourself is something I'm always going to do um, when it comes down to it, especially in basketball, because I believe in my ability. Um, but I think it was a pretty easy decision because, uh, one, at the time we were making a transition from going to what was called the American Conference into the Big East Conference. Um, so I was able to just sit and watch, you know, to learn to learn the system and, you know, uh, get, get stronger and just to keep developing my game to be ready for my first year in the Big East. On your Instagram page, you have story highlights of your outfits and sneakers, many of them. Uh, so I guess you're a sneakerhead. Yes, absolutely, definitely a sneakerhead. Uh, can you elaborate on that? How many pairs of shoes do you have and how, how often do you buy new ones? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a tough uh, answer for like to, to let you know how many I have, but I would say for sure over a hundred pairs of shoes I have for sure. Um, my closet is uh, like a whole wall um, of sneakers and then I have some downstairs in my basement, uh, so I, I can't fit them all in my closet. Um, but yes, yeah, sneakers and fashion, I'm definitely into that. Um, like the fashion world is huge now and I'm really getting into that too. How many did you bring to, to Vilnius? How many uh, I, I, kept it, I kept it small this year. Um, I brought, I think, like two pairs of walk-around shoes, two pairs of basketball sneakers, and you know, some sli two pairs of slides. Actually, three pairs of walk-around shoes, uh, two slides, and a pair of basketball sneakers. I kept it really small this year because I think I'm gonna buy some more when I'm out here. So we'll see. What do you apply to to wear when when hint uh, winter hits? You know, there there will be snow. Uh, when winter hits, so I didn't bring any boots, so I'm gonna have to wear all my sneakers. Um, I'll probably just be wearing like some regular um, Nikes. Um, I have some Jordans with me as well. Uh, and then for the for the fashion part, I have a, a Montclair coat. Uh, so I'll be I'll be pretty warm this year. Obviously, I gotta ask you about the tattoo that represents similar mindset to the one promoted by your head coach Gedr Jibenas. Uh Maybe it can sound funny, but maybe these matching ideas uh, led you to making uh, an easy decision to come to Ritos. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, I didn't know about his ideas until uh, they told me. I had my meeting, um, and then having a tattoo um, matching up with that. It, it was like I felt like a no-brainer. Um, you, th you think the same, um, and I would like to play for a coach that you know has that same mentality and the organization as well throughout uh, from the top down. Um, everybody has the same mentality, and that's I think it's just a good mentality to share. Talking about tattoos, you have many of them. Do you have a favorite one? Uh, my favorite one, uh, I would say, is on my back. Uh, it's a it's um like my life basically uh, what I've seen uh, coming growing up. Um, it has like a crime scene tape. Um, I have my one of my nicknames, uh, Cold World, um, like big in the back of it. Um, it's like the city that I'm from, um, everything I, I grew up around and with. Um, and I do have one more favorite. Um, it's from my grandmother. Um, she passed when I was uh, a sophomore in college. Um, so I definitely and I have that to honor her. Do you plan to getting uh, extra tattoos in Vilnius? Uh, so I, I came to the conclusion that every place that I go, at least I'm going to try and in every new country, I'm going to at least try to get one new tattoo. So I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I definitely will be leaving with something.